If this video gets 10,000 likes in the first two days, we'll be giving away two brand new Razer Huntsman gaming keyboards. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Razer Huntsman Elite Gaming Keyboard. It just came out today, so if you're interested in picking it up or finding out more about it, we'll go over all the pros and cons, talk about my experience, as well as some of the brand new additions that have never before been featured in a Razer Gaming Keyboard in the past. They definitely put it all on the line when it came to this new release. And like I said in the beginning, we do also have a giveaway going on. We'll be giving away two of these keyboards, so check the links down below and I'll have more information on the end and stuff like that. But sit tight, we got a lot to go over here in this review. Now when I first unboxed it, my first thought was that I love the keycap font. It's simple, nothing aggressive, and that can kind of sum up my entire thoughts on this keyboard's appearance as a whole. It really doesn't look like a Razer keyboard. It's very modern looking. We have rounded edges now at this matte aluminum top plate. And there isn't even a Razer logo anywhere on the keyboard itself, just on the wrist rest. But of course, once you plug it in and the lights start shining away, then yes, it has that familiar Razer glow. And there is this new light strip around the entire keyboard. But just as a whole, I do love the look of this board. Flipping it over on the back, we have six rubber pads to prevent it from sliding around on your desktop, plus two flip out feet to elevate its backside with two different height adjustments here to fit your comfort. Now before we move on, speaking of comfort, they do include this detachable wrist rest with this elite version here. But there is more to it. It is a pretty soft cushiony material that resembles leather. Definitely comfortable, so that's a plus. But it attaches to the keyboard via these pins. You snap it into place and once connected, all your chroma lighting on the keyboard will now also be synced to the wrist rest so you can have this cohesive RGB unit. We'll go over all the chroma lighting effects in a minute, so sit tight. Now one thing you may have noticed in the top right hand side of the keyboard is something that I've been asking for from Razer for years now, but they've always excluded it. And it's something that I always look for in a gaming keyboard. And finally, we have dedicated multimedia keys, plus this new multimedia dial, finally. It always bummed me out in the past when their keyboards wouldn't have it, but now we finally do. But it doesn't end there because this wheel is a quote, multifunctional digital dial, they say. And at first I thought that was some, you know, fancy term just for a standard volume wheel, but legit, this is really cool. So inside the software, you can go in and really make this wheel do whatever you want from your standard volume adjustment. You can have it change your microphone volume if you have a headset plugged in or a dedicated USB mic. Use it to scroll up and down, zooming in and out. You can make it a mouse function or bind this to certain keys on your keyboard, or even as like Windows shortcuts to launch certain apps, cycle through your windows. If you can think of it, odds are you can make this wheel perform that function. So you can think of all the cool things you can use this with. I know for me, like when I'm editing videos in Premiere, I can use that wheel to scrub throughout my timeline or zoom in and out. Just a really great feature they added alongside the media keys, which this kind of overshadowed. So you can hear them nice and tactile media keys, but it's just great that Razer is listening to us, giving what we want, going that extra mile and innovating. And speaking of innovation, getting into the heart of this review and one of the biggest features to these new Huntsman gaming keyboards is gonna be those new additions of those opto mechanical key switches. And these are a first of their kind in the Razer keyboard lineup and they differ greatly from traditional mechanical switches. These actuate by breaking this little optical light beam inside the board, which immediately sends a signal to your PC. It is designed so when you click the switch down, it actuates, registers, and resets all at the same time. In the way the actual switch is constructed inside, the mechanical aspect and the optical beam are two separate parts, so you're still getting that satisfying tactile click. These actually feel identical to the Razer green switches, and they share that same 45 grams actuation force with 1.5 millimeters to actuate with a 3.5 millimeter travel distance. So you're getting a key that is 30% faster than a traditional mechanical switch. It's also lighter. Then when you're comparing the two, these opto mechanicals um, have completely eliminated any potential bouncing inside that occurs when a mechanical switch is pressed down from those two metal contacts touching each other inside the board. Again, since we have an optical beam inside, the signal is sent immediately with no to bounce delay. So when I was typing and using this, it still felt very familiar because it's like those razor green switches we've been used to in the past, with it being very clicky and tactile. But now they are built entirely different. We have the optical beam inside, but it's still a mechanical stem, so hence the name, you know, Opto Mechanical. And when I was gaming, did I notice a difference or an advantage? Not necessarily, because again, we are talking about milliseconds, very, very tiny milliseconds here. But the switch is 30% faster than your traditional mechanical key switch. It's also a lighter switch, and now you have that zero debounce time. And of course, as you've been waiting for, and as we always do, I'll do a sound test so you could hear how these opto mechanical switches sound.
Now as we wind this review down, you know we gotta check out that chroma lighting. The effects are smooth and fluent, and by the way, I know on camera, some shots might seem like they're lagging, that's just because of the refresh rate of the lights to the camera, but it is definitely some keyboard eye candy. Inside the Synapse software, you can change up your lighting effects like you're used to, from things like a breathing effect, which is going to breathe a certain color in and out. Fire is your warmer hues to resemble a fiery effect. Reactive lights up the key you press and then fades out. Ripple sends a pulse of light outward from when you're typing. And I always like this one when combined with a static color in the back. I think it looks really cool. Spectrum Cycle is going to show you the 16.8 million colors fading in and out of each other. And also for this and most of these effects, you can change up the speed and stuff. Then is Starlight, which is a twinkle of lights raining down your keyboard. And yes, the wave effect here, the famous rainbow wave. Here you can change the direction of the wave, the width of each uh, kind of the gradient, whether you want it to go inward to outward, up or down, whatever you like. And this all gets synced up with that wrist rest. And at night time, this does cast like a halo around the keyboard glowing into your effects. And now with that wrist rest, you have an additional 62 lighting zones around your keyboard itself. You can individually change up and customize them to how you like to really make it fit your style but you do need to have both of the USBs plugged into your PC for this to be powered. Then when you're done creating your effects, you can save them to the keyboard itself because we have five onboard profiles now that can also be synced to the Synapse Cloud. So you can bring this with you wherever you want and still have those five profiles, which is pretty cool. And some other things I didn't get to talk about before is we still have a dedicated uh, gaming key so you can disable the Windows key. You actually have on the board a macro recording with function F9. So you can record all your macros on this keyboard without having to do it with software and stuff like that. And instead of N key rollover, we have 10 key rollover here. But it is a sacrifice I'll be willing to take with all these new additions. So wrapping it up with some pros and cons. I mean, there's a lot of new additions. That aluminum top plate is going to make the keyboard more rugged and solid in the end. You have that nice attachable wrist rest with the lights all syncing to it. Loving the new uh, multimedia tool. That thing is just really, really cool. A great addition to a keyboard alongside those dedicated media keys we finally get. Thank you, Razer. And these brand new Opto mechanical switches inside, which is, like I said, a first of its kind for Razer. So all really good stuff. And I just love the way the keyboard looks. It's still simple and modern looking at the same time. But now with those lighting zones all throughout it, it just casts this chroma halo glow around your desktop. So definitely some really cool stuff there. In terms of cons, there are two things that are kind of minor. Uh, the first one is uh, I would have loved to have a USB pass-through on the back side, but I get it, you know, with the, the Chroma wrist rest and stuff like that, you'd probably need a third USB port, so understandable. And the second one is uh, with the wrist rest clicking in on the bottom with those sort of magnetic pins. Since the wrist rest itself is kind of heavy, if you're picking this up, it's not going to stay in place and it is kind of hard to stay together. I wish there was like an additional locking mechanism on the back or something so this could just, you know, stay as one unit. Nothing that a little bit of tape can't fix though, but very minor. So in the end, this Huntsman Elite Gaming Keyboard is going to come in at $200, which is definitely pricey but it is a premium keyboard and you're paying that premium price. When you take a look at their competition and stuff like that, when Corsair's K95 Platinum first launched, uh, that was the same price, $200 as well. So this is that kind of, you know, that one step up with our brand new lineup of these uh, really high quality gaming keyboards with the original Huntsman being 150. But with that, you don't get any side glow. You don't have any dedicated media keys or anything like that. And you don't even have a wrist rest. So 150 for that is kind of pricey. But I could see how they can fit in that $200 price point for this Huntsman Elite, again, since it is their premium product now in their whole keyboard lineup. Um, and like I said before, we are giving away one of each of these keyboards, so check the link down below, and I'll have it down there for you. Good luck if you want to maybe win one of those and not have to pay the price for these. But altogether, a really, really solid and awesome gaming keyboard that has a ton of brand new additions, as well as introducing these brand new optomechanical switches to the Razer keyboard lineup. So... Hope you guys enjoyed my review. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.